Hello storage chasers, welcome to part three of We Found Antiques in a Monster Unit. I know it's a kind of a play on words because it was at Monster Storage Facility, not necessarily a monster unit, but as you can see here, we have our 16 by 16 tarp laid out. We got the boxes laid out, all the mystery boxes and bins and totes and boxes, whatever, bins. And uh, we're going to start going through them. Uh, hopefully this will be one video, but uh, it looks like it's going to end up being in, uh, maybe more than one. So we're going to do the best we can. All right, let's uh, go down here to the first one here. Uh, this one unfortunately says paperwork on it. All right, got my knife. Got my good uh, Smith & Wesson knife found in the unit. Not this unit, but down in the unit. Always remember, cut away from the sausage. Alright, let's see what's in here. Cash box, that's always good. Empty. Books. Here's a uh, hockey puck, that's uh, interesting. Could be worth some money. Paperwork, paperwork. Yeah, that's not going to be good for anybody. Alright, um, paperwork, paperwork. Can't show you guys any of that. Paperwork, envelopes, antique bottle. Uh huh, uh huh. Uh, yep. And know that. And here's a box with a uh, box with yeah. So we will go through this later off camera because it's got personal stuff in it. So uh, that'll be that one. Let's move on to the next one. All right, we have this one here. This Chewy. Oop. All right, let's see. Put my knife down. All right, that's uh, a lamp that was broken and put back together. So let's throw that right away where it needs to go. And uh, there's a fuzzy vase pencil holder thing. Interesting. There's a tin box, also interesting. Some uh, figurines made in China. So that tells us a lot about that. There's a couple of them. And uh, wait, there's a big chicken. Uh, almost looks like it's hand painted by my kids. So that's probably not something uh, too interesting. Uh, a little chandelier light thing. Nope, does not say Tiffany on it, so. And it looks like it's got some tape on it. Could be interesting. I'll have to look into that one. Got the little lamp that goes with it. Here's another made in China piece. People get this stuff from decorate their houses with it, so we'll try the same. And here is a giant glass mushroom yes that is what it is all right and we got some awards and they may have names on them so we can't do that old set of keys I'll bet you that my uh, brother pirate would uh, possibly want a set of these as soon as he sees the video or maybe I'll show them to him first I don't know here is a fan Made out of like balsa wood and it's got little mirrored panels in it. Interesting. So it's all just kind of decorator pieces. So, yeah, it's kind of that kind of junk. Interesting. So, as you can see, a lot of junk, a lot of junk, a lot of junk. All right, next box. Whew. Looks like a bunch of wires to the, to the lay person. And uh, to me, it's uh, it's a box of wires with a few speakers. Yeah. Looks like a bunch of speakers, bunch of wires, wires. It's a it's a wall. I don't know what that means. But. Clip on light. Here's a leap pad. Here's a one of these. I don't know, it's some kind of holder, some kind of thing. 
came in one of these, so maybe it's a Kobe. Maybe that's what was in there. It's a case, empty. What is this? White Westinghouse AM FM cassette. Wow, there you go. Old school. There's a leapfrog, and there's one in this one too. Here's a game, my arcade portable game thing. Dream gear, it says. Maybe we're something. Transmitters, battery chargers, battery chargers, another leapfrog thing. Uh, right, a little alarm clock snooze thingy there. A uh, battery backup, another clock, an arrow, another battery power supply. Here's a game controller, looks like an aftermarket one. It says Microsoft, so I'll have to look into that because I don't know anything about gaming stuff. But uh, some of this stuff, people are probably saying, yeah, it goes to a game, and I have no idea. But there's a whole bunch of little things in here that I have no idea about. So, we will look at those. Looks like one of them little uh, electric massager things. Kind of cool. And uh, a bunch of more of that. And a cell phone. Old school cell phone. Alright, and that's uh, what we got in there. Bunch of, bunch of weird uh, miscellaneous junk. So, I'm going to gently put it all back into the box here because we don't need it right now. And we move on to the next one. Big Blue Tote is the winner. All right, I think this is one that we packed from stuff that was loose in the in there. So we've got a lamp. We've got some uh, some giant letters. A bamboo shade. Uh, Looked like a toy claw machine. Probably didn't really work. Black web, a Bluetooth speaker. Kind of looks cool. Looks like a little alligator skin book. Actually, looks like alligator skin. Kind of cool. And a couple of baskets. A little remote control device. A plug in thing in the wall. Yeah, some of that, some of that, some of that junk, some of that junk. An old umbrella. Some uh, pictures of. Not people, old trucks, old stuff, more letters, more letters. Here's a book, reflections. Okay, so that is uh, that one there. Dish rack, maybe? Mail rack? Who knows? Anyway, <clears throat> that's that one there. Moving right along to the next one. As you can see, this is going to be a long, arduous process, so I'm trying to make it as fast as painless as possible. All right, here we've got an old box. Has uh, some interesting labeling on it. I don't know if the box is actually that old. It appears to be that old. Looks like the right type of nails and stuff. Uh, it has some albums in here. Uh, you get them out of the box and we're gonna take these in the house uh, because uh, albums should not be out in the sun. So we will flip through these really quick you guys can kind of see what we got. I can't read that. Haciendo Punto Un Otro Sun. Yeah. And then that. And then another one of that. And then that. And uh, Lady Hawk. That was a good movie. And then that one. Kenny Rogers. The Beach Boys Pet Sounds. Uh, Alan Parsons Project. Some, these all feel like they're, they have albums in them. Uh, Flip Wilson and Dent, The Doors. Dark Shadows, Bruce Springsteen, some sound effects, Ray Antonio, this one feels like it's empty, uh, sound effects, more sound effects, more sound effects, and that one, and Wonderfulness, Bill Cosby, yeah, and that one there, so that's all that was in this cool box. Like I said, the box has some, what's left of some stickers that were glued onto it. It looks to be, you know, nicer, older type of box. 
or at least made to look like it. So that may sell for a dollar or two. All right, move on to uh, this big black one here. <clears throat> kind of sounded bad. Oof. It's really super hot out here too, people, sorry. Okay, in this one we have, uh, we have a book. Mm, make sure it's not a photo album. And it is got pictures of shells and things. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, somebody gave it a gift from somebody from 1979, so maybe, maybe it could be good. And we got paper, 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 paper. We have another book. Spells, potions, and creepy concoctions. And uh, let's see what's in the silly box. We got some string. We got some uh, keys. We've got a silverish looking tray. I don't see any markings on it, but you never know. Piece of glass. Another silverish looking piece of something here. Also not marked, so probably not. More keys that go to, well, it says, looks like master locks and locks and stuff, so we'll keep those handy in case you come across something. But yeah, just another one of those uh, boxes. Here's another box. This one's a lot newer, empty. This is another box. Uh, this one's got, it's a box with a box in it and a box in it and another little box in it and a box so yeah so yes and you well just I didn't okay I don't know what that means but it's probably their drug box old uh, crunch box probably used as a pencil box another uh, this is a sewing machine pedal Here's a wall trimmer. We have a bunch of those. Another lamp. Oh, here's another box. Uh, Don Carlos. I don't know what that one means. But yeah. So maybe this was like a cigar box or something. I don't know. Put them off to the side. Paper papers. Some lips. I don't know. There's uh, pieces part for the trimmer. Uh, bobbins and stuff like that that go along with this little sewing machine dressmaker thing kind of interesting and I got that got some paint stuff got some miscellaneous a deck of cards batteries yeah one of those some uh, glow in the dark spray whatever uh, glue to go old Kodak camera maybe it's got film in it Let's see some clips and claws and spoons trinkets and a basket underneath that and that is it that is it so yeah that was very unentertaining there too so let's put all this stuff back in the box and the box back in the box and the box back in the box and the box and the box back in the box all right so now all of them are back in the box and we'll close this one up. Those need to go in the house. Okay. Now let me oop, spin around, sit on this box. All right. Get the shell book off of this one. Everybody loves trunks. I don't know why, but they do. So, oop, open. It's open. And one, two, and three. Whew. I feel the heat coming out of this bad boy. All right. Uh, looks like a car book for an Oldsmobile, so maybe they owned an Oldsmobile. Uh, let me get a little more comfy here. I may be here a minute. Some books, books, notebooks, notebooks. Uh, office supplies, office supplies. Screen protectors, screen protectors. One of them feels like it's in there, so we'll see. Some receipts, and a plastic tote, that. 
that is a cigar box ish thing all right we will oh let me turn around here sorry uh, this is a uh, cigar box Oop. if I can get it open here all right it's a that's not bad it's a bunch of knives I don't see any big wonderful names on anything. Uh, this is uh, Mammoth, kind of cool. Um, that one uh, has a name on it. That one's broke. It's got a name on it. Some interesting blades and knives. It's just a razor blade knife. Interesting. Ah, apparently it uh, drew in some ants too. But that's not going to be cool. So just pull out this stuff. See what's down in here. It's a broken lighter. Pass this. All right, what do we got? We got yeah, some kind of a power supply. No, uh, another speaker. All right, cool. Uh, don't know what that is. We will find out. It's a little box. That way, this way, don't let me find drugs. Nope, no drugs in there, luckily. Whew. Did not want to. This disc, that's kind of cool. Bunch of those. Those, oh, there we go. Our first money back from the unit. We need that. All right, chargers. Oh, that's a phone. That is a, an exploded phone, so somebody need to take the battery out of that one. Ooh, is it hot. All right, and uh, oh, there's another knife. It must have fallen out of the knifey box over here. We'll keep that in there. What else we got in here? Any more knives? Nutcracker. Yep. Yeah. And uh, a couple of little things, some wallety things. Make sure that there's no personal stuff. Nope. No personal. No personal. No personal. No personal. Ledgers. Paper, paper, and uh, nothing. Nothing else that uh, seems important. So, that'll be good. All right. Some of this bad uh, camera work I'll edit out of here. So if you don't see the camera moving around a lot, then you know that that's the part where I edited it out. Because <laughs> I'm just trying to move as fast as I can. Cause uh, it's extremely humid here in South Carolina, which equates to if it uh, feels like it's 95, it acts, or if it's 95 outside, it feels like it's 105. Yeah, so not good. Uh, the stuff that's in this tote here, you've actually already seen, if you've seen one of the other parts of this video, these uh, items came out of the uh, dish cabinet. Uh, had that Elvis picture and all the Dremel and the Dremel parts and stuff like that, so... Won't bore you with that one a second time, except for that much time. Uh, this one here doesn't say anything on the box. So we will open the box up and see. We will see. Huh. There's rocks in here too. I don't know why we got a lot of rocks in this stuff. So this is garbage. This is a illuminator fan. Don't know if this is an old fan or not. Have to do some checking out on it to see. Uh, here is a shimmer and crystals. Look like just decorator uh, plates or maybe something you put on the table. But they're, they're reflective, goldish color. Got a couple of those. Uh, what else we got in here? Got a metal box, lunch box, piece of junk. Krups, uh, probably a waffle maker. Some ashtrays, some ashtrays, some ashtrays. That was lead on the outside. So yeah, all trash. We will... Uh, 
get moving on along past this one because not too much more to sell in there. Unless the eliminator fan is real. I mean, it looks art deco y, but this is like this part here is plastic, so uh, I don't think it's authentic. All right, next box is well, I don't need the knife for this one. Uh, I'm gonna guess that it's not a typewriter. Ooh, wow! Wow! That is not what I was expecting. That is an awesome old school singer. Wow! That is uh, that is really actually nice. It needs to be cleaned up a little bit, but wow, is that a nice antique? Did not expect that in that box. No, I did not. Woo wee Okay, well, that is uh, something we're definitely going to have to check out and uh, get some prices for before we sell that because uh, we don't want to sell that cheaper than it needs to be. Wow, that is really good. Okay. All right. <clears throat> I know there's not going to be a big surprise for this one, but uh, I'm guessing close. <laughs> That's what I'm guessing. And uh, wait, there's, there's a dish. So we'll take a dish out and uh, we'll see Abercrombie, Abercrombie and Fitch, some fuzzy sweatshirt. Oh, there's another dish. I don't just hate it when people pack their dishes in with their clothes. I know, it's a horrible thing. Um, we are digging down through here like we're supposed to. Let's go to the corners and look. And uh, London Boulevard movie. They didn't return it, so if you're trying to watch it, you can't get it because they kept it. Nothing in that corner. And close all the way down to there. I feel another dish or something here. Oh. Nope, it's a big, it's a big pot thingy. It's got a sticker paper on it, which will. Maybe have to find out. No, probably not important. See if it's something important though. All right, that was all the clothes. Whoo! Yeah, it is getting warm. Okay. Here is a ugly mirror. Yeah, we'll put that over there. Okay, we've got more clothes. Throw that one over there. Old uh, suitcase, briefcase, uh, leather et. Handles are jacked up. Check all the pockets real quick, but don't expect nothing in there. Nope. Personal, personal, personal. Inspirational, personal. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Another Sun Trust. Nice little binder thing. Uh, some recipes, some recipes. Uh, ah. See. Don't know. We'll have to check it out and see. And uh, recipes, recipe, old recipes. There's some old newspaper recipe stuff in there. And it looks like they left all of their junk mail here from wherever they were moving from. And recipes and recipes. Yeah, we'll have to go through all this to see if there's anything of value in here. Uh, we are going to be heading back down to this area, so if there is anything personal, personal that we can take back, we will, but it doesn't look like it. So, that one's a bust. Alright, the next row we've got uh, these four gray totes, which we packed from the unit. We just threw stuff in them in our own totes, and then we've got a couple of baskets of stuff. But uh, we're going to start going through these. But for now, I think we've uh, made this video long enough. So, uh, hopefully you've enjoyed that uh, speed relay through these boxes. And uh, we're going to finish up this video here. So please like, share, subscribe, comment, all that wonderful stuff. And uh, stay tuned for part uh, four. Alright. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later.